For this procedure, we're going to do a side view camera single recognition, typically known as Honda Lane Watch. Let's go ahead and get started. The home position screen will pop up. Always follow the on-screen instructions and graphics to ensure that you're in the proper location. You'll know this because the targets will go green on the wheels. Next, the aligner will go to its maximum height. Next, what we need to do is mount the adapter. Mount it firmly in the remote stand. We will also indicate clear space on the floor with green line lasers and the red pointer indicator. So we know we have the appropriate amount of room to complete the calibration. Now we'll need to move to the passenger rear of the car. Here we can see with the red dot laser an indication of where the remote stand is going to finish placement. Next we'll take a floor measurement and display positioning for the rear remote stand. Again we'll line that red dot laser up with the circle on the base and bring the green line in line with the red line on the base. Next what I'm going to do is rotate the target on the top of the remote stand and the general direction of the gimbal laser. Release the remote stand and aim the red laser to the middle of the circle on the remote stand and lock it down. Next is the fine adjustment. The laser will blink, release the, the lock on the remote stand, and slowly move up and down on the vertical line until the laser stops blinking. At this point, lock the remote stand down and your fine adjustment is complete. You'll see the red dot laser has moved. We'll simply line that red dot between the, the two red lines on the remote stand. Next, I will mount target 300. This is very similar to mounting the camera targets. The target will simply slide over top of the adapter, releasing the lanyards, and gently rolling the target down ensuring the base ends between the pegs on the base. Next, we'll need to record that QR code so that we know we placed the correct target. Shoot that with my barcode scanner and verify target placement automatically. Once verification of target placement has been made, simply use the onboard system to complete the calibration.